this is the BMW M4. It is so sexy. The first thing I love about this car is that it's got a normal handbrake. Mm. Why is that important, Daisy? In case you have a blowout. Why? Actually, no, that's wrong. That is wrong. In case, I don't know. In case you want to do a handbrake turn. <laughs> that's why it's important. Oh yeah, if you have a blowout, you have to release the brake slowly. If anything, if you have a blowout, you don't touch anything and you just try and guide to zero and get off the circuit. Anyway, it's got a million different modes. Um, when you buy a BMW nowadays, you have to go on a 16 year course on how to learn how the car actually works because it is quite complicated. But uh, once you get to know it, it is quite magnificent. And this car is magnificent. Daisy knows this car extremely well. Why? Well, just to give you a little bit of an idea, it was the same color. But we were very fortunate enough to be invited by BMW to go and drive with DTM racer Bruno Spengler. I remember. So we had the opportunity of driving around the Kyle Army International Racing Circuit with Bruno Spengler. I was fortunate enough to drive this car on its own and then Bruno Spengler took us around and then showed us how a car should actually be driven. I don't think there was one corner that he wasn't sideways. It was frightening. Daisy's ovaries were popping juices that you've never ever known in your whole life. Um, purely because she enjoyed the excitement of the um, driving, but she fell madly in love with Bruno Spengler. No, I did not. Oh, you he did. fell in love with me. Okay, no, he did. He did. Bruno Spengler fell quite in love with uh, Daisy Mitch. Now, the thing is, I've got heads up display here, it tells me what speed I'm going. You can adjust just about every single thing. It's got every Modcon, sat nav, uh, audio system, Hot 919. Um, that's the most important thing, so you can pick up wherever you want. You can adjust the suspension settings so you go into sport mode, so it does become a little bit harder when you drive. But I mean, just feel that gearbox and listen to it. That amazing. It is a spectacular car. And BMW, when it comes to the M series and M class of cars, are just magnificent. In my opinion, I think they're streets ahead still of Mercedes Benz. To me, the M power is incredible. Still one of my favorite cars is the M5. Always loved the M3. And now we have the M4, which is just. It's like an M3, but it's called an M4. And don't ask me why. Why is it called an M4? Because I don't really know. Because now there's a 2, and then there's a now a 3, and a 4, and a 5, and a 6, and a 7, and they've got the I8. So they've managed to count quite well. <laughs> Question is, is once they get to 9, where do they go after that? We've got the 0. I don't know what they're going to do. 10? The I-10. Um, that's a Hyundai. <laughs> we don't really want a high 10, do we? Um, anyway, listen, the car is magnificent to drive. It, it really has every single thing that you could ever want. It's going for, I think, 1.3 million at uh, the Imperial Collection. It's got 4,700 Ks in the clock. It's got the racing stripes in the bonnet, as you can see. I mean, the, just even the detail. Look at the side mirrors. Look at the side mirrors the way they're done. It's got the Harman Kardon sound system in it. It's blue. It's It's got this light blue with a grey interior. It's beautiful to sit in. You put it into just a, a standard mode. Everyone looks at you. Look at the people next to us. Are they looking at us? Yeah, they're loving this car. Well, they're loving me. They're male. Wow. You see, you can be a bit of a vinchat in this thing. Because you've actually got the power to be the vinchat. You'll catch up with people at traffic lights in Porsches and those kind of things and they'll be a little bit scared to take you on because then they'll see how racy this thing looks and then you'll just play with it. See, that's the traction control. That's insane, I love it. Yeah, but if I knew, oh, there we go. Let's take it off. That's it. Now oh, we're going to have a little bit. Such a cool sound. Too. It's a beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. Um, and don't forget it is turbo. So, uh, it, it, it's incredible, there's no lag, it just goes. It's quite incredible. See the carbon fiber finish over here, which is incredible. The steering wheel feels like a real racing steering wheel. It's a little bit too round for me. Too many, too many things on, this is the problem that I have sometimes with BMW. 
this is an M car. I want it to be an M car. The only thing that I want is the M button, M1 and M2. That's all. I don't want everything else, how to change the speaker volume and this and that and whatever. I don't want those things in an M car. I just want the M buttons. That's all. Because that's what they're about. But it's nice to have buttons to control other things. But this is a racing car. This is a proper sports car. We want to. We still need to be listening to Hot 91.9. Yeah, but that's it. You can just adjust it here. See? Like that. Quite simple. You don't have to sit here and figure out. Now it's on the left hand side on that radio. Now it's on the right hand side on the steering. It's all very complicated for somebody who just wants to drive. Feel that. Beautiful, eh? It's a beautiful, beautiful car. And I'm, as I say right at the beginning, we had the opportunity of going around the track with Bruno Spengler. This car handles like you've got no idea. In the sense that I'm sure they needed new tires after just two laps with him. And then he did a donut. He did a proper donut. I'll just play a little bit of fun here. Show you the power. Oh, and of course, BMW, it's got the brakes. You'll stop on anything. Sound and and of course it's got the 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 roof and all Sunday. that stuff, yeah, those kind of things. We should just open the windows a little so we can just get a little bit of the sound as we take our little baby home. This is quite a magnificent car, it really is. It's where you know, if you've got this kind of money, and you know, it's comfortable for four people, even though it's a two door, it is comfortable for four people, um, as long as you're not all sort of ENF's height. <laughs> drive around like that all day. It's going to cost you a bit of petrol if you drive around <laughs> like that all day. But it's so solid, you know, it's a real, it's a typical M series BMW. And in my opinion, there are very few in the world that make them better than BMW. The BMW M4. Yes, please. <laughs> 